Oak Island is a fascinating destination of ageless interest where a hidden treasure awaits anyone who can master its mind-boggling difficulties. Unlike other treasure hunts, the location of the treasure is not a secret. The true challenge is how to reach it, as it is safeguarded by sophisticated booby traps and layers of secrecy. Many have tried and failed to unravel the secrets of Oak Island, including some of the most renowned and powerful people in history, but none have succeeded. However, recently Joe Rogan, a renowned podcaster, has exposed some stunning realities about Oak Island that will change everything. What did he say, and what does it indicate for the future of the treasure hunt? Join us as we unveil the terrible realities that Joe Rogan has unearthed about Oak Island. Oak Island is a small island off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada, that conceals a secret that has confused and enthralled travelers for ages. It is rumored that somewhere on the island there is a hidden treasure of unbelievable value, a treasure that contains relics from Marie Antoinette, holy items, and even Shakespeare's writings. It is also supposed to be Captain Kidd's missing treasure, a legendary pirate who buried his plunder on numerous islands. The treasure has been pursued by numerous adventurers who have spent their riches and their lives in the pursuit of glory. But the wealth is not easy to find, it is safeguarded by a series of sophisticated and lethal traps meant to keep outsiders away. However, in a revelation that has sent shockwaves through the world, Joe Rogan, famed podcast presenter of the Joe Rogan Experience, has disclosed a spine-chilling discovery on Oak Island. Rogan's recent disclosures have added a macabre twist to the island's mystique. But first, it's vital to comprehend some context. The saga of Oak Island began in 1795 when a little boy named Daniel McGuinness was exploring the island with his pals. He spotted a weird dip in the ground shaped like a circle. He was intrigued by the legends of buried treasure that he had heard, and he resolved to explore. He and his pals started digging and soon uncovered a layer of flagstone two feet below the surface. They felt they had uncovered a clue and continued excavating, hoping to find the treasure. But as they went deeper, they also found something peculiar, the trench they were digging contained signs of antique tools on its walls. It was evident that someone had dug and filled the pit before them. But who could this be? and why? Oak Island was a distant and secluded spot, so there was no apparent reason for anyone to dig such a deep and elaborate pit unless they had something really valuable to hide at the bottom. Thus, the search for Captain Kidd's buried riches started. But after digging a gigantic 10-meter deep hole the size of a three-story structure, they still discovered nothing. The diggers lacked the time, gear, and people to dig any further, so they abandoned up and left the massive hole in the earth, which became known as the Money Pit. Ten years later, another group traveled to Oak Island to start the quest where Daniel and his comrades had left off. The discovery of the money pit prompted a frenzy of intrigue and speculation, bringing treasure hunters from all over the world. But what they didn't know was that the riches were secured by a series of sophisticated and lethal traps meant to keep intruders away. And what they also didn't know was that a new and shocking discovery was waiting for them, a discovery that may change everything. One of the earliest and most noteworthy parties that came to Oak Island in 1806 was the Onslow Company, a crew of adventurers armed with pickaxes and shovels. They were resolved to find the riches that Daniel and his friends had failed to reach. The Onslow Company resumed the excavation of the hole, which came to be known as the Money Pit. As they delved further, they uncovered more layers of oak logs every ten feet, as well as other unusual things such as putty, charcoal, and coconut fiber. It was evident that someone had gone to tremendous lengths to conceal whatever was buried there. The Onslow Company was intrigued by these results, and they began to dig with fresh zest. Eventually, they hit something substantial at approximately 90 feet. They hoped that they had finally discovered the treasure. But when they pulled out a stone tablet with an inscription, they were faced with a startling disaster, the tunnel filled with water and swamped all around them, forcing them to run for their lives. The Onslow Company tried to stop the floods, but to no avail. They had no idea who was responsible for this cunning trap and why it was activated. They knew that the tunnel would fill up with water again during every high tide, making the search impossible. They decided to give up on their goal. Although they did not uncover the wealth, they considered the stone tablet an important discovery and left the island shortly after, carrying the tablet with them. After the Onslow Company's departure, the stone tablet remained a mystery for many years. No one could read the bizarre symbols carved on it until a scholar from Halifax managed to unlock the secret. 
he offered a tantalizing clue to the treasure's whereabouts. The inscription read, 40 feet below, 2 million buried. This implied that the treasure was still within reach if only someone could overcome the water challenge. But the mystery of Oak Island's treasure did not end there. According to mythology, seven individuals would have to die before the genuine treasure could be uncovered. So far, six had lost their lives in quest of the elusive reward. While others were suspicious of this claim, it did not stop individuals from hunting for the wealth. There were many theories and speculations regarding what might be buried on Oak Island. Some believe that the island harbored the lost manuscripts and earnings of William Shakespeare, or perhaps Francis Bacon, who was rumored to be a member of a secret organization that buried their secrets on the island. Others believed that Marie Antoinette concealed her diamonds and money there during the French Revolution with the help of a French naval officer who was also a Freemason. If both stories were accurate, the treasure on Oak Island would be worth a king's ransom. Some sailors even claimed that famous pirates like Captain Kidd or Captain Blackbeard could be responsible for the treasure trove, as they were known to conceal their plunder on remote islands. And then there was the Freemason idea, which stated that Masonic symbols on the island, such as a stone triangle and a cross, pointed to a buried treasure belonging to the secret society, which had ties to the Knights Templar and the Holy Grail. However, after 50 long years, a determined firm from Toronto landed on Oak Island in 1849 to resume the search for this elusive treasure. They had heard of the Onslow Company's findings and were eager to solve the enigma. They attempted to dig out the previously excavated pits but were left disappointed as the holes flooded with water once again. But unlike their predecessors, the Toronto team discovered something strange, the water was somewhat salty and seemed to ebb and flow with the tide. This was a significant clue in the hunt for the money pit. After combing the island, the team uncovered the opening to a short tunnel flowing underground towards the riches. This canal, termed Smith's Cove, was part of a complicated and innovative flood system that safeguarded the wealth from attackers. This was the first sign of the numerous unusual and strange hurdles ahead for the treasure searchers. Despite their best attempts, the booby-trap flood system proved to be an impossible task for the Toronto Corporation in their quest for the riches. While it was evident that the pit on Oak Island held something of enormous worth, the elaborate barriers encircling it made reaching the bottom virtually impossible. The Toronto group's attempts to approach the hole from numerous angles were greeted with flooding and unexpected collapses, compelling them to abandon their search of the riches and leave Oak Island behind. This begs the question, who then will be the next to try to solve the enigma of Oak Island, and who will be the next to pay the price for their curiosity and greed? Remarkably, the mystery of Oak Island has remained unanswered for almost two centuries, and the tale continues on. Many more expeditions, studies, and documentaries have followed the Toronto Company's attempt, but none have been able to uncover the wealth or explain its origin. Some have tried to employ contemporary technology such as metal detectors, sonar, and ground-penetrating radar to discover the wealth, but they have only unearthed more clues and anomalies that compound the mystery. Some have even claimed to have unearthed relics and proof that link the wealth to numerous historical persons and events, such as the Knights Templar, the Rosicrucians, the American Revolution, and the Freemasons, although none have been conclusively established. The mystery of Oak Island has also caught the interest of many renowned and powerful persons who have either participated in or supported the search for the riches. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who eventually became the President of the United States, was part of the Old Gold Salvage Group in 1909 and was said to stay intrigued by the Oak Island mystery for the rest of his life. Hollywood icons Errol Flynn and John Wayne also funded numerous trips financially in the 1930s. Two treasure hunters were purportedly told to report their find straight to King George VI of England, who was likewise interested in the island secrets. However, not everyone who has been involved in the search for the treasure has been driven by curiosity or avarice, some have also been pushed by a more sinister motive. According to Joe Rogan, who went into the depths of the enigma in his show, rather than being a store of wealth, the money pit is a trap designed to lead treasure seekers to their demise. He underlined the sad loss of lives in the hunt for this elusive treasure, with claimed hauntings adding an ominous twist to the Oak Island narrative. Rogan believes the island's history has been interwoven with deception and foreboding threats, emphasizing that Oak Island's real mystery may not be a treasure, but a far darker secret that has ensnared treasure hunters throughout history. 
This shocking viewpoint has prompted new theories regarding the island's origins, drawing comparisons with the Bermuda Triangle and its mysterious disappearances. For Rogan, the focus should not be on the concealed wealth, but rather on why the island appears to draw such tragedy. Could there be a greater reason behind the enigma, or is Oak Island merely an ancient trap waiting for its next victim? Rogan's revelations have reignited interest in the Oak Island puzzle, attracting both skeptics and thrill-seekers alike. While some see his claims as an unsettling notion of the island's evil past, others feel that unearthing the island's hidden secrets might bring the ultimate reward, perhaps the most coveted prize of all.